After realizing that my Gardena smart sensor is broken, probably because a lazy delivery man just thought it would be a good idea to take a shortcut through my flower bed to the neighbor, I was just thinking, dude, why not have a look inside this little sensor and see, maybe we can repurpose something, get the IC out, I have no idea, let's have a look what's inside. Are you with me? Sure you are. This is a Gardena, Gardena smart sensor for your garden. This thing over here sits in the soil normally you can see it's broken so this here is totally useless at the moment and it shows you the temperature of the soil um, the water percentage level in the soil but as you can see it's not capable of it because this thing here is broken i removed the batteries already okay now the question of all questions how can we get in here um can't see any screws so far. Maybe under the stickers. Uh, sticker, who knows? Let's peel it back. Nope. There is nothing. Here is a little button. I think this is to realize if this thing here, the battery cap, is completely a battery cover sits flush i think otherwise it will prevent it from working how to get in here hmm. i mean i assume it is very good seal because yeah it sits in the garden <laughs> the whole summer and autumn and maybe spring okay at least here I can bend it. Oops. Okay, that's not the right way, obviously. I just broke some of the plastic. But yeah, that's why you're here, right? isn't it? Seeing me destroying this poor sensor. not moving a bit maybe this blue stuff around is some kind of okay <laughs> yeah that's probably not the right way as mentioned before well it feels like <laughs> like a tin in the kitchen I feel so bad. Okay, so right to repair, or right of repair, what is it called? Right to repair? I'll put it on the screen. You would definitely have no chance to get this open without destroying it. And if so, please let me know. I'm very curious how this is gonna happen. Even taking off of this whole section over here it's not moving okay that's the point where i just want to take my safety goggles ah come on you are kidding me well that here it's some kind of clip Hammer time. Nope. Nah. Oh, what? <sighs> okay, and even more isolation. Okay, that's built like a tank. That for the capacitive sensor thing. That's the LED that shines through this thing here, and you will see it here. Yeah, 
Let's desolder it. Fume extractor, very important. So, iron off. Turn off the fume extractor. And you see more yeah, protective gum gummy stuff against water so that's a very good seal that's a very good job Gadini. i'm just wondering if i'm the first person on youtube who tried to open this thing here oh bad metal on the edge here it looks like okay now we will work around the edge by the way if you like seeing me repairing something instead of destroying i will link you a playlist where i just do stuff like this and that's normally the purpose of my channel beside from modding other devices wow ah. Whew. it smells oh, what is it Oof. it's very chemical wow it's 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 hair yeah. can't describe it like glue or maybe oh, here's more metal okay let's But, uh, <laughs> Ooh, that's harder than I expected it. <laughs> oh, that's so boring. What the heck? I'm so sorry, guys. Want to see some ICs or something or components? What the? Oh, what that? I just. What was it? What that for a yellow thing here? Just a sticker? Sticker, decal, whatever. Oh, ah, how do we look? Some kind of hidden QR code. Da, da, da. What is that? Mm hmm. And gloves. Whoa. Ooh. Maybe I should wear some gloves, but with gloves, it's very hard to do. Yeah, precise things. So, mm, when you're doing this, please wear gloves. I'm a very bad mentor in this way. Uh. <sighs> wow. Okay, we're still just stuff but we see some smd components passenger i would say and hmm. yeah i think i have to get in between this it must be a way to lift it oh, i can't believe how this thing is built Wow. I mean, yeah, probably there is no other way around to protect it against nature, but... Phew. Okay, here you can see uh, the board. Mm. Oh, 
I see, I see. So I'm pretty sure that I damaged one. <laughs> it looks so bizarre, so like, wow. Yeah, but you can't see components underneath it. <sighs> Maybe I can cut it a bit here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Wow, it feels so strange. here yeah it is all protected with this gummy yeah what is it does anyone know what this exactly is it would be handy to have this at hand for some protective jobs to be honest and here i think is the interesting part Let's see. What do we have here? We have a SIM 3U167. Hmm. SIM 3U167. What is it? Okay. This looks like the microcontroller oh and it reached its eol so the end of life so yeah good to know and we see here it's an arm cortex m3 base microcontroller and can speed up to 80 megahertz that's so crazy i mean that's just giving us some some data of yeah whatever 80 megahertz crazy 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 uh, ideal for energy sensitive applications, what it definitely is. I mean, it's battery powered. So, yeah, that's the CPU or the microcontroller. It's not just the CPU, it's, it's, but that's, it's, it's the brain of the whole thing. So, let's see what else we got. What this thing here? The wrapper. And swap and put some IPA on it. Isopropyl alcohol. We can make it more readable. 44672A. What was writing it? This is the model number of this thing in the middle. So let's see. So that's 44672. Yeah, oh, I see. Maybe this thing here. Keep that there. Did you keep? Yeah. Okay, does this make sense? High performance, low current transceiver, smart metering, mesh networking. So, this is probably the ship that handles the transmission to the Gardena smart gateway. So this thing itself doesn't use Wi-Fi, it's communicating with the Gardena hub. And I think this happens, yeah, with this ship over here. At least this would make sense. Yeah, I would say that's it. So, okay, so that's the transmitter. So what else do we have? Okay, that's something I ruined during my opening procedure, so no idea what that is. This over here, I'm pretty sure that one of these three here is the crystal. I would assume this one, so maybe this one over here is also a crystal for the transceiver that could be. I want that. 
so not sure anyone has an idea yeah please drop a comment i'm pretty sure that some of you are very curious what it is so okay anyway let's see so that's the microcontroller that's the transceiver module that communicate with the gateway from gadina no idea what do we have here is it a desto 2150 step down converter maybe or mm. five db So this is a flash memory, okay, so that's probably some information that is stored here and can be accessed from the microcontroller. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. So what else do we got here? Okay, that's it what I can see, but as we can see here that I'm pretty sure that this year is the interesting part. Yeah, the only thing that I'm wondering is... Is there a special IC for... Okay, here I also damage something. <laughs> um, for, yeah, the temperature and, and soil, wetness, or measurement, whatever you want to call it. So can we get further into it? So I would, I would say that this here is just the battery stuff. You know what? Let's just try to pry further and see what it's giving us, huh? Okay, there's again the metal that goes, uh, that has, that was around it completely covering it. I think that's also something, also something to do with the, yeah, with the soil measuring, uh, with the soil measuring. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's so good. Okay, and here we see the mentioned button. We have uh, we've talked earlier. Oops, and it fell down. So this button over here pushed this thing on the board. So here we ripped something, or not we, I ripped something, and I think this could be the this sensor itself, so this part here it handles the connection. Otherwise, I would have no idea what that could be. Let's have a short fully look over everything we have seen so far. So the microcontroller, the module uh, to communicate with the Gardena Smart Gateway, probably the crystal for the MCU, the crystal for the yeah for 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 the transmission module. No idea, no idea some memory and i think these are the important parts and you're not into destroying things me neither so how about watching me repair something useful how about a nintendo switch oled with a little surprise inside have a look over here and as always happy tinkering